Pretty much everyone has a shop vac, and nearly everyone uses it the wrong way. I know because I used mine the wrong way for a long time. These things are amazing for picking up sawdust, dirt, and debris, but they're just as likely to cover our rooms with toxic dust and pollute our air. There's a simple way to use shop vacs that'll not only make them safer, it'll also make them work better and last much longer. And that's what I'm talking about today on The Honest Carpenter Show. Here's what most people get wrong with their shop vacs. They rely on their cartridge filter to do everything. These filters have pleated ridges that capture dust and particles as air passes through them. They definitely work. You can see that when you open the lid and find dust caked up in the pleats. But the problem is they don't work very effectively. Most of these cartridge filters aren't rated for stopping fine particles. So they'll catch the majority of big stuff that comes through but smaller, finer particles will just exit the exhaust outlet and go blasting into your room. So essentially you're cleaning the room of visible dirt, but blanketing the room with way more harmful microparticles. This is the stuff you don't want to be breathing. Fine particles in your lungs can increase your risk of lung cancer, chronic asthma, and even heart attacks. And inadequate filters push this stuff into every corner of our airspace where it settles onto every available surface. Furthermore, as the filter clogs, the vacuum works far less efficiently. You'll hear it bogging down and struggling as the tank fills with dirt and dust. To counteract this, most people dump out their tanks often and then knock out their filter by hand. And just look at the stuff that comes out. It's like clouds of spores. If you do this indoors, clearly it's going to find its way onto other surfaces. But even if you do it outdoors, the filter still retains much of it. You can soak some of them to clean them, but it's not totally effective. So how do you avoid this harmful pollution cycle altogether? The first best thing to do is use a filter bag. These porous woven fabric bags sit inside the shop vac tank and connect to the air inlet valve. So as air passes into the machine, it fills the bag first, passes through the filtered walls, then reaches the cartridge filter mostly clean. The cartridge catches even more of the smaller particles and the air that leaves the blower contains far fewer contaminants. Now with the bag in place, your cartridge lasts far longer, works much better, and the air in your workspace is much cleaner. Also, the shop vac is way easier to clean since all the loose dirt and debris is contained in the bag. When it's full, you just pull it off the inlet valve. If it has one of these sliding lids, you can even seal the port off so it doesn't puff dust out as you throw the bag away. This is how you catch a lot of finer particles, like drywall dust, which is basically volcanic powder. Without the bag, you'll just spread this stuff around the room. But with the bag and filter, you'll eject much cleaner air, keeping everything safe and tidy. And yet, even a bag and cartridge filter together may not be quite enough to catch the finest, most dangerous particles. These are particles in the 0.3 micron range. A micron is 1 1,000th of a millimeter, so microscopic. For some reason, 0.3 microns is the most difficult particle size to filter out. There's a lot of weird science behind this. But smaller particles like 0.1 and 0.2 microns are a little easier to catch in filters, as are 0.4 micron particles and bigger. But particles that are 0.3 microns in size have a way of slipping through the fabric in our filters. This makes them more dangerous to our health, not because they're more toxic, but just because we have a greater chance of breathing them in. To catch these particles, you need HEPA filters. This stands for High Efficiency Particulate Air Filters. In order for a filter to be rated HEPA, it needs to filter out 99.97% of particles with a size of 0.3 microns, the most penetrating size. That includes dust, mold, pollen, bacteria, any airborne particle. Most cartridge and bag filters for shop vacs just don't have that level of engineering. But amazingly, a few years back, Rigid introduced their HEPA grade shop vac kit, a bag and cartridge for their 12 to 16 gallon models. This kit is actually OSHA compliant for Table 1 work, which includes cutting cement fiberboard like hardy plank and grinding mortar and other silicates. That's work that releases very harmful dust into the air. It's amazing that a baseline shop vac with a very inexpensive filter kit can even get close to that efficiency level. Usually you need way more expensive dust extractors to achieve it. That's why I bought this setup for my shop. It wasn't given to me by Home Depot. I bought it because it solves so many problems at once. And I'm actually going to center my whole dust collection for my shop around units like this, which I'll show in upcoming videos and explain why I did it this way. I'll link some of these units down below in case you're interested. Feel free to browse them. And remember that when you shop through these links, we receive a small commission at no extra charge to you. 
As always, thanks for watching. Be sure to check back in for more videos coming up soon. And please consider subscribing and hitting that little bell button to turn on notifications. That way you'll know the moment we post something. I'm Ethan James with TheHonestCarpenter.com. I'll see you next time.